Are you serious? Are you serious? You need to get a cup of coffee. Calm down. But oh man, Monsanto, you really now in a jam. A landmark lawsuit has been claimed against Monsanto because they hid cancer danger of a weed killer for decades. The weed killer Roundup. In June, a California groundskeeper will make history by taking Monsanto to trial on claims it suppressed harm of the Roundup weed killer. At the age of 46, Dwayne Johnson is ready to die. He said, no, I'm not ready to die. But with cancer spread throughout most of his body, doctors say he probably has just months to live. And Johnson, a husband and father of three in California, hopes to survive long enough to make Monsanto take the blame for his death. On June 18th, Johnson will become the first person to take the global seed and chemical company to trial on allegations that it spent decades hiding the cancer-causing dangers of its popular Roundup herbicide products. And his case has just received a major boost because last week, Judge Curtis Carnow issued an order clearing the way for jurors to consider not just the scientific evidence related to what caused Johnson's cancer, but also the allegations that Monsanto suppressed the evidence of the risk of its weed-killing product Roundup. And Carnell ruled that the trial will proceed and a jury would be allowed to consider possible punitive damages. The internal correspondence noted by Johnson could support a jury finding that Monsanto has long been aware of the risk that its, uh, uh, that its herbicides and carcinogenics, but has continually sought to influence the scientific literature to prevent its internal concerns from reaching the public sphere and to bolster its defenses in products liability actions. Carnell put in a report. Thus, there is triable issues of material fact. Johnson's case, filed in San Francisco County Superior Court in California, is at the forefront of a legal fight against Monsanto. Some 4,000 plaintiffs have sued Monsanto, alleging exposure to Roundup caused them or their loved ones to develop non Hodgkin lymphoma. Another case is scheduled for trial in October in Monsanto's hometown of St. Louis, Missouri. The lawsuits challenge Monsanto's position that its herbicides are proven safe and assert that the company has known about the dangers and has hidden them from the regulators and the public. The, lit, lit, the uh, litigation and the assortment of research studies indicating that the active ingredient in Monsanto's herbicide, a chemical called glysos, glysophate, can lead to an NHL and other ailments. They also cite research showing that this formula formulations in its commercial end products are more toxic than the chemical alone. And the Internal Agency for Research in Cancer classified it as a probable human carcinogen back in 2015. So Monsanto, who championed the falsified data and attacked the legitimate studies that revealed the dangers of this herbicide and led a prolonged campaign of misinformation to convince government agencies, farmers and consumers that Roundup was safe, according to Johnson's lawsuit. We look forward to exposing how Monsanto hid the risk of cancer and polluted the science. And Michael Miller, Johnson's attorney, said Monsanto does not want the truth about Roundup and cancer to become public. But Monsanto has fiercely denied these allegations, saying its products are not the cause of cancer and that the IARC finding was wrong. And according to Monsanto, as our studies finding that the herbicides like Roundup to be potentially carcinogenic, Monsanto points to findings by the 
Environmental Protection Agency, or the EPA, and other regulatory authorities as backing its defense. So this is going to be really ugly, but for the first time ever, Monsanto is going to go to court with not just the fact on the scientific basis could their chemical herbicides cause cancer, but on the fact they hid the findings, the studies, and uh, and kept it away from the regulators and the and the general public of dangers that they already knew. Internal documentation and and uh, scientific research study within their own company. So now, of course, Monsanto, who has brought us the great GMO, if that's what you want to call it, genetically modified organisms, and why all your food is now GMO. The same people who brought you GMO food has also brought you uh, pesticides and insecticides. And oh, by the way, they're the same people that brought you Agent Orange during Vietnam. So it's kind of strange that the same pesticide company becomes the same company that re-engineered your food that you eat. Imagine that. And they just recently acquired Bayer Aspirin. So let's see if I get this right. Monsanto can controls about 80% of the food the Americans eat with GMO food, but they also contribute a lot to the pharmaceutical side of it to help get you better from the food you ate. And they're also the creators of the pesticides and insecticides and the, and, and the stuff that's sprayed everywhere on the ground in which your food grows. Is there a conflict of interest anywhere in here? But that's much like the federal government, the Food and Drug Administration. I never could understand. Why would the Food and Drug Administration be in the same category? Shouldn't the agriculture and food be here? Shouldn't drug regulation be here? Separate? To me, it would be a conflict of interest. One makes you a little sick. One makes you a little better. Everybody keeps showing up at the doctor. Are you serious? Pray for Dwayne Johnson and his family, because I'm sure. They're going to drag him through the mud, even if he's alive or dead. It's going to get ugly. Let's wait and see what the results are. Everybody's innocent and conti- until they are proven guilty. And so let's see how this plays out. Are you serious? Wow. Are you serious? 